So we've put together this Yoga Nidra series to give you a bit of a taste of the practice. This is a response personally for me to want to offer this as something that's very applicable in the modern day. We live in a very stressed society and most of my patients actually tell me how much their sleep is compromised. And without quality sleep, we're more susceptible to stress-induced illness. And as we know, most illness is stress-related. So this is my response, giving you a tool that is timeless, ancient, and very much proven in modern medicine to allow your body to heal and to restore. Walter's here with me. He loves when we do Yoga Nitra, and he will be with me for some of the practices. But more importantly, I want you to use this series as something that you can use in isolation, maybe just one practice resonates, or using all of them intermittently. Doing a practice at least two to three times a week is really, really great. Doing it before you go to bed, we have one to help you sleep, and we have ones for healing, as well as one just to help you relax in general. Yoga Nidra is a practice that requires no effort from you, so you do not need to have any experience. You just need to lie down and let go. So use the preparatory practices to help deepen your experience of Nidra. Don't have coffee before you do this practice. Try not to eat because it will enable you to fall asleep, which we don't want to do in Yoga Nidra. So enjoy the practices. Allow them to restore you, nurture you. If this is something that you enjoy, come back to it again and again.